guys, it's Violet and today I'm going to show you how to create um, channel art and thumbnails with paint on that. So what you want to know, blah, 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 blah. what you want to do is go into your browser and um, type in on Google or whatever, whatever you use and type in paint on that and it's this place right here, it's getpaint.net and um, like it's kind of hard to find like the actual download button but it's up here and then it's um, you click on this bit up here and then you click on download paint.net now and then it will take you to this website I mean well it won't take you to this website it'll just like open up your download and basically um, I'm just going to cancel it because I already have it installed but you do when you open it up like if you open the folder you click on the application and then you just install it and I'll put this link in the download description basically okay so now what you want to do is when it's installed and everything you want to go and pick on that and if you wanted to make a channel you'd go on to Right. Okay, let me find a picture of my Sims. Okay. Uh, download. No, not downloads. What am I on about? Okay, so you're going to your screenshots and then you'd. Let's see what this one is. Okay, it's Chelsea and Carl Slow Dancing. Awesome. <laughs> and that's my new Sim. Okay. So let me get one of these because uh Okay, let me get Right, let me get 115. Okay, just choose the photo that you want of your Sims. Copy and paste. Just like copy it like that. Copy. And cancel that and you just exit out of it and oh, right okay the size that you want your um thing is let's open this up the size that you want your thumbnail is let me just count the size one one thousand 440 for width. So what you're gonna do is you wanna open a new document. You wanna 1440 and 896. Okay? And then you copy and paste. Keep count the size. So it's like that. Pretty much you can just close that. Okay. Bam. We have our basic thing, and that's your background layer. What you want to do now is layer two, and then you want to open up a new tab or just a tab. And if you you want to get like the logo, the Sims 3 logo. Um, okay, so if I went to this, then I'll go and then let it load up. Come along little child oh it did it <coughs> done it okay right you want to copy in this and go back on paint.net and you want to paste always remember to add a new layer it's this little button down there add new layer you want to add new layer then paste it in the key canvas size always keep the canvas size all right and then you want to resize it down to what size you want Um, yeah, sure, that'll do. And um, then you want to click on the magic wand tool. And then you want to put the tolerance up. You just need to find the right tolerance. That just seems fine. So um, what the tolerance does is, like, if I put the tolerance all the way up, then basically everything is selected. If I put it down, then basically only, like, the outside is selected. But what you want to do is just get, like, the right amount of balance there, like, Everything's basically selected, but it's not like overlapping, just the things that you want. So you want to delete that. 
Okay, so there we have our little symbol, the sensory logo. Bam! <laughs> okay, so this step isn't really needed if you don't want glow, but if you do want glow, then select this, copy and paste it. Okay, wait, back. <laughs> there. Bam! Okay, why did I say bam? I meant oops. Okay, and then copy and paste that. And that layer is above this layer. And what you want to do is put the tolerance about 65. I mean, not 65, just until all of it's covered, like that. And then what you want to do is put it behind, put it behind. And then you want to go on to blurs, Gaussian blur. And you want to just like blur it up, just like this. Um, I'm probably going to get like... 18 is usually what I go for. So that will render, and then you want to go on glow. You're just going to do this until it's there. And then you want to go on blur again. And then you want to go on glow again. You want to go on blur. And just keep on doing it until you find what you really want. I mean, you don't have to do it this many times, but it just depends how like big and how bright you want the glow to be. And then basically just merge these two layers down, like this button there, merge and layer down. And then you'll get this, like that. And you can just move it around wherever you want and you can resize it and the glue will still keep. Like, yeah. I mean, this is gonna be like a really bad thumbnail, but whatever. Um, and then what you wanna do is add the number. Um, usually what I do is just kind of find a position. I mean, this is the font that I always use. This little, the Sims P something, yeah. And the size I usually have it on is 216. And then what you want to do is find a position where you remember where you put the number. Um, let's just say on her arm, like right down at the bottom, we'll put one. And basically it will start from that little bit of the shoulder. And then you just remember it and then you'll just go two, three, four, five, you know. And yeah, that is basically it for thumbnails. Oh, always add a new layer though. If you make, make a mistake, add a new layer. Just add a new layer. That's all you have to do. Just add a new layer. Add a new layer for everything. Pretty much, okay? Yeah, add a new layer. There. And then you can merge them down. So be like, let's play this in very part one. Bam. <laughs> I mean, that's how I used to make thumbnails, but now they're just a bit more kind of like, um, difficult, I guess. Like, they're a bit more in depth, which I just get like a picture of the world. Okay. So that's how you make thumbnails. I hope that was kind of clear. I'm not sure if it was, but yeah. Okay. So, I will put this in the description actually. I'll make a template and I will upload it so you can download the template. So, obviously, I've got all these like Lysimer ones because I made like channel art for Lysimer. So, um, Christina. And then, so I will just do this. I will put the template in the description. I'll make a template first. I'll make a template. So, what you want to do is delete that. Well, let me just delete this and then I will fill this up with a template. Oops, nope, that was wrong. Okay, and then I'll delete this bit. Okay, and then I'll fill it up with black. Why not? So, actually no, let's just make it a darker grey so it's not like depressing. Okay, so this template will be up for download. This template will be up for download, I'll put it up for download and you can download this template. And um, basically what you want to do is just add text, for example, like loot, like violet. Crumble 512. 
like that for example. <laughs> it's really bad, but whatever. And then you want to go into your documents again, find a uh, um, screenshot. I'm going to go random screenshots. <laughs> and then I think I have one of my world adventures sim. Preview. Okay, so I'm just going up this sim, 72. My base game sim. Um, and what you want to do is, oh, for the text, I keep on forgetting to add a new layer, but that's what I always do. For the text, add new layer. Okay, and then for the sim, what the hell, I just delete that layer, right? Back, add a new layer, and then paste the sim. And then what you want to do is delete this. Um, let's turn the tolerance down a bit because we don't want any like random cutouts. We just want the sim. No, okay. No, right? 21? Will that work? No, okay. 23? Okay, right. 23 is the perfect tolerance of this sim. You just want to delete all the um, edges and everything. Right. So basically the sim is done. And then you want to select it, resize it down, oops, until you're like happy with it, I guess. Don't know what that was for, like the, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, and if you want to change the background color, then you just obviously, you know, just Pink. Why not pink? <laughs> and then if you want to add a glow around the sim, you copy, add new layer, you want to paste, and then you want to fill it in with white again, like remember for the thumbnails. Fill the sim in with so not right. <laughs> no. Okay, that'll, that's, that'll do. Fill this in with white, blur, glow, blur, and then glow again. And then you want to put it down. And then you'll have a glow around your sim. How majestic. And if you want to remove these little edges, then you can totally do that. Like so. And then you'll have that. And then if you want to add like a little catchphrase down here. I'll tell you how to get the fonts as well. Um, I'm just going to do this. Quick brown fox. Let's just choose a font. Let's choose this font. Um, everything. That's a bit big. And then we'll just choose a different colour as well. How about that colour? And then we'll put it down a bit. And then we'll do every, every thing sims. Bam. <laughs> um, pretty bad, but whatever. And, you know, that could, that could work. Ta da! <laughs> it's really bad. There. Okay, and then you just. You can merge all the layers down, you can just keep it, and then what you want to do is save as. And then you want to choose a name. Like, uh, like, just channel art. <laughs> and you want to save it as a PNG. And then you click OK, and then it'll just flatten. And then all the layers just compress down, and then you can exit out of that. Don't see. And then you can go into your YouTube and um, I'll go into my, my channel. And then you can just change your channel art like this. And you can select a photo, and you can go on thumbnails, channel art. And that was the thing that I made for Alex's birthday. And you can go there.
and there we are. You'll have your own channel up, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is how to make channel up. I'm just going to change it back because this is really bad. Um, let me change it back. The fin. <laughs> Oh no, it's not the fin. It's not the fin. It's not the fin. Cancel. No, it's not the fin. No, it's not the fin. It's not that one. <laughs> um, I don't know which one it was. Um, gallery, I think it was. No, nope. your photos. It was this one. And then that one. Yeah. Okay. So that is how you make channel art. And now I'm going to show you like the uh, where I get the fonts from. It's like dafont.com. And what you do is, I like, okay, just for example, Moonflower, you download it, and then you click open, and then you download, you spawn, you'll just click install. Okay, so Moonflower's done, and we'll open paint on her. And when we click on text, like, Scroll down to M. Uh, there we are, Moonflower. Hello. <laughs> and I think this is the uh, font that Madden uses, <laughs> actually, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's basically where you get my, get my fonts from, and uh, you can use whatever font you want. And there's like lots to choose from and that is basically how you use paint.net so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I mean it probably wasn't the best because I'm so awkward but yeah that's it bye